Hey, so today we're gonna to be making a Carnival of Chaos warband. Almost poetically, this was the most chaotic week. I filmed a battle report and then I wanted to do a dollar store kit bash with the minifigures Dollar Tree. I couldn't get the glue to stick, so I'm just using Frost Grave kits, um, the Pirate kit and the Knight's kit. All right, so this first guy is a guy on still. Carnival of Chaos, if you don't know, is a Nurgle faction. Uh, Nurgle is like living contagion. They're like walking plague victims. Overall like theme of them is uh, like circus. So I kind of went with a theme for each character. This guy is a tall man or a guy on stilts. And I don't know, I, I, this one out of all of them was my favorite. Well, actually, uh, that exception is right here. Uh, so this is a contortionist. So I just put in a leg and an arm, and he kind of got crushed into this box. I don't. It's kind of fun to me to think that he wasn't actually a guy who's flexible. He's just a guy who's kind of stuffed in here. <laughs> so uh, he's the. These are my two brutes for the army. Um, this next guy is one of the two tainted ones and he is got like the curse of flies and uh, so he's a little disgusting and so i gave him a tentacle as well as a giant uh, two-handed sword and this is how he looks i like him a lot uh, later i sculpt some green stuff on him and give him like a hunchback um, this is my next one he's got like the curse of bloat I think that's what it's called. I don't have it written here, uh, stupidly. But I sculpted a kind of big belly on him and then gave him a mark of Nurgle, which is the three dots or uh, circles. And um, this guy is my uh, ringleader. And you can watch me uh, put on this ridiculously big hat and think, yeah, this is all right. Yeah, that's fine. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, it wasn't fine. So I just decided to sculpt my own and I gave him a wizard hat because he's a wizard in the rule book. And I just didn't think it was ring mastery enough. So I gave him a top hat later. Um, and then I'm just kind of using some like demon model I got maybe three years ago. I don't know, this one, is a, it's a really cool bit, but deltoids were too big. So I chopped off the deltoids and reattached them. So here you can see I'm sculpting that hunchback and then I'm giving him some coattails to kind of put on the ringmaster look again. And then I gave, you can see I'm sculpting his top hat too. Oh, hey, look, the shirt I sell. Uh, anyway, so I just primed these guys with black, and then I did a Xenothal spray of tan uh, for no particular reason. I don't know, I kind of just like painting with just a straight black base coat better than a Xenothal. Every time I try it, it's just not as good. I had to repair my tall man. I did a texture paste. This is the first uh, like Citadel texture paste I've ever used. And to be honest, like, just make your own with sand and paint. You don't even have to add glue if you don't want. Uh, it works fine. This dries slower than anything I've ever used and the grit is just not very great. So I don't recommend it. I had to remake this weapon because I dried it with a hair dryer and the ax I had put in warped really bad. So this one I had three skulls on it because that's like the shape of Nurgle logo and so I just kind of mirrored that. And then on this guy his weapon kept falling off so I just put on some like tentacle looking horns or whatever to add some other points of contact onto the model. I'm painting the, these guys pink just kind of as a tribute to Miscast and his Carnival of Chaos Army. It's how I was introduced to Mordheim and all this stuff, and it's just kind of a sign of respect. Fair house. 
some surface signs. Um, here, let me grab it. So I printed out these circus signs. It says three ring circus. Uh, it has the Nurgle logo. I think that's funny. If you want to download this poster, it's free on Patreon. Uh, I also 3D modeled a Nurgle logo, uh, just in case when I expand this warband. I just wanted to take a sec to thank my newest patron, Moonbad. If you would like to help support this channel, it just sets aside some money to make sure and guarantee that things can be bought for each video. Uh, because I do do this weekly and I don't make any money on YouTube videos yet because I don't I can't monetize Overall, I just kind of followed the poster use that as a roadmap for the color scheme but That way when the poster kind of makes its way onto, onto the base it kind of complements each other um, I went back in with purple and green washes uh, And those turned out really great with the pink uh, and it kind of let it shine um, the, the hard thing with Nurgle is they're not quite undead and all the games workshop paint schemes that I've seen lean towards that undead look. Uh, I'm really happy with these guys. These guys look real different than any of my other stuff. They're really bright and punchy uh, and I don't know, they're, they're kind of fun. Like they all have their own gimmicks and they're not regular models. So that's... On my wet palette, I just soaked the paper and then I just coated it with Mod Podge and let the Mod Podge kind of soak in. And then when I put it on the base, I just pressed it in and used a dry brush to kind of press in and soak up some of the water and let it dry a little faster. So that's, that's how I applied these posters, and they're a little floppy. I'll probably go on with another Mod Podge just to kind of seal it in a little better, but overall, this, this worked really well. All right, so thank you so much for wa watching. We're only 170 away right now from getting 1,000 subscribers, and that's just crazy to me. So if you would like to subscribe, that would help out the channel a lot and that would just kind of boost morale because uh, I do this weekly and there's a lot that goes into these videos. Uh, when it goes kind of poorly like this week, it just helps the morale and helps me uh, get back into it. So thanks for supporting on Patreon. Thanks for getting shirts and just thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All right, have a good one.